gotta come. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, I've slept in Penn Station. I've slept on subway trains. Um, yes, I've begged for food. I was addicted to three or four different drugs at the time, and uh, I was dying. And I'm afraid to die. I came out of prison, no doors open for me. I don't know what's up there. I've been homeless for many, many years. I was like sleeping on a park bench. Uh, abandoned houses. I slept on the train. Police chase you out of the subway. Will you help me? Laying on the street. Okay, well, you can walk by them, you can stop and engage them and give them some money, but if you reach down and pick them up and say, Would you like to work? Would you like an opportunity to provide for yourself? You're helping the person help themselves. And what greater love could you have than that? I always knew the right thing to do, but I chose to do the wrong thing. You want this program? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna let you into this. All right, thank you. Over the years, we've probably helped literally tens of thousands of people. We make people independent, and that is the real solution. So I want to welcome everybody. This is what we call field orientation. Everything starts with the bucket. New York is a busy, dirty city. It is your job to help keep it clean. Ready, willing, and able. It's uh, people who are ready to change their lives, willing to abide by the rules and go out and work every day, and they're physically able to do the work. We pay you seven forty an hour to push a bucket and help keep the city clean. We're training you guys to get some work ethics under your belt. Be consistent. Get up on time. Follow directions. This program shows society who has us judged as once we're the way we are, we're always that way, we show society different. I was in the streets doing things that I shouldn't do. Now I'm doing something that's constructive. Working together, we can make a change. Working together, we can help better things. And let us let love be I think about the quote that Dr. Martin Luther King made. If you're going to be a street sweeper, be the best street sweeper you can possibly be. It's an opportunity for me, myself, just to see what I'm capable of to do. Without this program so far, I think I already would have been back in jail. The bucket is going to get you in touch with self. You are going to have some acceptance out there. When you push that bucket in 95 degree weather, the bucket's going to talk to you, yo. It's going to say, how the hell we get here? The bucket will make a man nothing. He did the bucket. He did the bucket. I said, you can't give up now. You came too far. If you keep on pushing me around, nobody else in life is going to push you around. The bucket teach you how to have patience. The bucket said, here's your chance to start again. It didn't talk to me. It screamed to me. I should just push this bucket into this phone booth right here and go into Mickey D's and just chill with everybody else. But I said, nah, because then I'll be just like everybody else. No, it ain't going to work if I hit the block. You need a job that could put me at the top of the charts. I heard the dope funds looking for a few good men to put that work in, bang out from two to 10. Might have to sweep the streets, swallow my pride, make a meeting every day to keep from getting hot. So we said to them, look, you're going to have to stop using drugs. Yes, everybody has to be clean coming in. All the staff that work here gotta stay drug and alcohol free. You guys get tested, we get tested. Our philosophy is self-sufficiency, independent living. This by no means is a handout, it's a hand up. It's a very creative approach to self-help. You need to start thinking today about what it is that you're going to do when you're no longer here. So this is the chart, this is the roadmap. Okay, and the roadmap basically breaks down what happens from the first time you get here so this time that you're ready to leave. Around your fifth month, sixth month, you'll probably be doing financial management as well. So you have six points, that's all you need. You can go down to DMV as soon as possible, <laughs> right? As soon as possible? Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> Whatever the client needs, we build it. Client needed on-site GED, we built it. We have driving lessons, built it. 
client needs to learn how to, this is the information age, bang, there's computer labs and computer training going on in all our facilities. I don't want nobody give me nothing. Open up the door. <laughs> I'll get it myself. It is always our goal to be as independent as possible. And that's one of the core reasons for doing revenue generating businesses. We're actually doing a catering business now. It's called the Dauphin Catering. We actually cater for the mayor of New York. Now we place a lot of people with certificates, with skills, in restaurants all across New York. I went from cleaning the gutter to melting the butter. We even have our own exterminating company called Pest at Rest. The slogan is, the bug stops here. What we want to do is make that environment very dangerous for these rodents. Number one thing is to get the confidence of the, of the consumer. And now we're going to be a completely green exterminating business, the first in New York City. We also have security guard training. My guys are as experienced as any street cop in New York City. We have a, a brand new business called Resource Recovery, which I think is fabulous. One of the resources that New York City has is a lot of fat in restaurants. And we took all the used and old cooking oil, bring it back to our warehouse, and then from there we transfer it to a bigger plant to have to recycle it for, to biofuel. We have direct mail business. We are a fully functioning mail house. Throw the paper inside there like that. It's a big difference from where I was at a year ago. They think I'm helping them change their lives. They've changed mine. between nine, 10 months in the program. We pay them two days a week and they work the other three days to go out and find a job. And tonight we're gonna to talk about interviewing. Not everybody can say, I've been homeless. I've eaten out of a garbage can. I don't ever wanna do that again. They're gonna remember the person that picked themselves up off the ground, built themselves back up, and that's the kind of person that most companies want to employ. Mock interviews is when we ask corporations and professionals to give our guys a kind of like dress rehearsal. Did you bring a resume? All those other guys who are written down the hall, um, what makes you stand out? I'll never let you down. Well, William has a wonderful eye contact, great handshake. This is going to sound really funny. The thing he could do better is enjoy the interview more. Um, sell yourself is really what the interview really is about. Um, don't be afraid to say, I am the best. I know I can do this job. What is the satisfaction about just being employed? That I can actually take care of my family with, mm -hmm. no, with no worries. Every guy that we get through, every man, What's, the, what's common is that they want to be fathers to their children. My name is Diamond, Diamond Robinson. I always keep the picture right here. Doing the dad thing, man. Right? And it feels good. Yeah. Kyla, she's always there to make me laugh. Isaac! Now hopefully, you know, he, he, he succeed me and do better. We've gotten now thousands and thousands and thousands of people, jobs in the private sector, working for companies, making money, uh, and climbing the economic ladder. It's a good feeling just to wake up in the morning and know that you're on your way to work. Work works because work does work. I mean, that's our slogan. I've been working at Islandburg Cross and Paul for about uh, 10 months. He is the face of the firm when you walk in. Clients have remarked uh, how professional he is and how much they like dealing with him. Willie is our number one salesman and has been since March when he started with us. And then he's an aspiring designer. Yes, my, my own joints. This is actually the three-dimensional joint of this same shoe. Pushing that bucket determined if I was going to be here or back on the street selling drugs. I got a rap sheet from here. If you stretch it in one sheet, it'll go halfway down a block, and I'm not that same person that I was. I'm a locksmith. I am bonded. I am licensed. I am trusty. And in September, I'll be a locksmith, licensed locksmith for seven years. The same day as our first wedding anniversary. Where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I like to be CEO of my own nonprofit organization. Having a steady job and a degree. Being able to support myself financially. Designing shoes for Steve Madden. You know, I want to wear a couple of hats, you know. Get some letters behind my name. I operate at my own trucking company. I want to give back what's freely so given to me. I'd like to see the program in a lot of other cities.
And I'd like to serve double the number of the people that we serve in New York today. Ready, willing, and able! You can have this idea. Go do it in your town. Go do it in your city. Go do it wherever it is that people are in need. But do it. Don't fun. If you ain't got nobody and you've been living on the street, you're trying to get back on your feet. You need to give a call to the Dope Fund. If you're ready to turn your life around and willing to put your pride aside and able to put those drugs down, you need to give a call to the Dope Fund. Fund.